They are indeed. A, it's something that we all absolutely love to watch, and we typically sit at Chitwa Dam for most of the afternoon and watch hippos play around, and that's what we've got, but not in South Africa. In Kenya, in the Mara River. It actually sounds like we're at the beach. The river is raging so much at the moment over the rocks, and these two youngsters are having the absolute time of their lives. Now, this is not a proper fight. It's just practicing and proof find it's two young bulls. Oh, there's another one opening up and displaying and they always do this at sunset well just as the sun is about to go down they've been resting for most of the day not doing anything enjoying the rapids peace and quiet i'm sure maybe the odd cocktail in hand who knows and now they're getting ready to leave the water and then there's even there's some youngsters who have just joined in just to the left just sitting quite close to mom they've also just started pushing each other around and opening their mouths there's that looked like mom that was doing that and the other one's just un submerged itself now they looked a little bit younger than the ones we were just watching so not an uncommon thing to see and probably the most interesting I always feel sad for guests when they come on safari and all they say is that we want to see hippos opening up their mouths and and funny enough, if you don't time it correctly during the day, you'll end up just seeing them sleeping on the banks of the river. And you can sit with them for 10 minutes, and then you've pretty much seen it all. So, first thing in the morning, and just as the sun is setting, it's the most exciting. And then, of course, to be able to see them out of the water at night, too, is pretty spectacular. Great to see how large they really are. There will also be a lot of interaction, though, within uh, this particular pod. You'll find that they'll greet one another as well. well they've all been laying up on top of each other, and now they're going to play. Must be, um, must be full of energy, though, if you think about it, if you've just been sleeping the whole day, ready and raring to go. Isn't this awesome? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look, 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 with a big male. He just porpoised. That was incredible. Let's see if he does it again. And then they also just did a bit of a call. He leapt out of the water, which is incredible because when, when you see hippos, you think they're not athletic. They can't do anything. But they really can jump quite high out of the water and splash about when they want to. Now, Francis, all the way from Israel, you're wanting to know if uh, hippos always come out of the water at night. They do indeed. Uh, they have to, uh, unless there's grass growing right on the edge of the river, which they can munch on. Sometimes there is, but it's not necessarily the most palatable grass with the highest nutrients. So they have to travel further distances to find suitable or grazing and I feel as though there's no shortage of grass though in the Mara. I don't think there's ever a shortage of grass. Look at this guy here. Hello. Actually looks like a female. She must have just been resting up on the bank down below us and something gave her a bit of a fright. She came charging out. So you saw that again and that wasn't even her at full speed. <laughs> A young male on the left. So there's clearly one dominant bull amongst this pod, and then there seem to be quite a few young males uh, within this group as well. But they'll just sit very quietly, and they're the ones that will be pushing and shoving each other. The river is incredible. The way that it sounds really reminds me of being at the beach, being at the ocean. I close my eyes. It doesn't smell like the ocean to me. Some of the guides say it does. I don't think so. But I just think of the waves and waking up early and going swimming. Although, not that you'll find me doing that often at the ocean. I'm petrified of sharks, even though I know there's no chance of me probably being struck by lightning and eaten by a shark, but I'm still scared, nonetheless. They haven't stopped, have they? All just having a great afternoon. And the light is just starting to change now too. There's a couple of clouds in the west, which is not unusual for the Mara. Um, but the sun seems to just be catching them. And just, just peeping through those gaps now. Okay, right, who's gonna, who is going to wake up next? Um, <laughs> every time we go away, they pop us out of the water. One just leaped out of the water now. And uh, now, Paula, you're wondering how old is a hippo when it leaves its mum? 
Uh, typically, you'll see mom with an older offspring and, and a young and a youngster. So, um, I would say at about two years old, you'll find that they'll they'll start moving away and doing their own thing, hanging around mom but not relying on her 100%. Uh, and oh well, two two to about three years old when she has her new calf, and then after that period, at about four five. I think, I think females have become sexually mature around four or five years old, and a bull will typically only start mating maybe about eight, seven, eight years old, somewhere around there. So it takes them a bit of a, a bit of a, a while to mature. And it's not that they can't mate; it's you'll just find that they're just not big and strong enough to be able to go in and take on a territorial bull. But a very nice scene here. Now I've come down to the Mara River because David told me this morning that there were lions around this area so I'm looking for the Paradise Pride but we might have to go a little bit further south 